Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson. You're watching Reality Survival. So today we're out here in the field just doing a few videos, you know, burning a fire, looking at the battle box, all kinds of stuff. And uh, I wanted to do a little bit of a field test on this Zodi uh, Extreme SC hot shower system. So I've got the propane bottle hooked up to it, as you saw a little earlier. We put some water in there. I was packing snow down in there because we didn't have enough to fill it up all the way. Um, but we've got the uh, propane cylinder lit up and it's burning right now and so we'll kind of uh, heat this up a little bit and then we'll take the, the hose and you know we'll pressurize it and we'll see you know how it does there's probably only I don't know there's probably only about three quarters of a gallon in there right now so it shouldn't take too long to heat it up um, I would recommend keeping the hose off of this while you're heating it up. That way it don't get down there and melt, you know, along the side of it. It's easy enough. It's just, a, you know, screws on and off. No big deal. Um, but anyway, we'll get back with you here once it gets warmed up and, and we'll see if it's working, see how it feels and all that. All right, guys. So as I mentioned, you know, this thing is, uh, I think it's, it seems like it's going to work out really well. Um, this is a great item for, you know, sanitation and hygiene in a SHTF grid down kind of situation. It is uh, great for like family camping on the weekend. You know, you're going car camping or whatever. It's not not small enough you carry in a bug out bag or anything like that. But um, you know, it's it's definitely portable and it's going to give you a way to get yourself clean. You know, one of the one of the primary factors in uh, the spread of disease in places that don't have utilities is cleanliness you know and being able to take a hot shower is a huge huge advantage to uh, keeping your health good you know if you guys hear the the chopping in the background that's my son he's over there working on uh, getting together <laughs> some wood for a tripod so um, anyway I think this is a really cool item it looks like the the Temperature indicator says that it's up to 90, 90 degrees right now. I'll show you that real quick. So it's getting there. Oh, there it just switched to 100. That's cool. Alright, so that's getting plenty hot. It's getting close to uh, close to the max temp. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn that off and we'll see what it feels like. Woo! Yeah, you can hear it. It's definitely hot. Attach this hose. Come on, pump it up a little bit. That's about 30 pumps. Now let's see what it does. So, there we go. Water is warm. It's not bad. Um, probably needed to have a little more in the tank. But you could definitely shower with it. It's not, it's not icy snow water, you know, which is basically what it was uh, a few minutes ago. But you can see it's got pretty decent pressure, you know. And it would be easy enough to... Uh, to um, take a shower with and all that kind of stuff you know I mean it's gonna work pretty good looks like the pressure lasts quite a while quite a while see how long it goes till it runs out I think I did 30 30 pumps if I didn't say that already but yeah this is a this is a sweet item you could you know you could use this for decontamination um, you know during a pandemic situation 
You could use it for uh, fire suppression. You could cut the, you know, the end off of here or have a different hose. It's like we're out of pressure or out of water. Um, I think some of the guys in the comments were saying you could use it for, uh, you know, fire suppression stuff. On the, when I did the overview video, that's definitely a good idea. I mean, there's multiple uses you can use this thing for. Oops, there we go. Alright, looks like we're about out of water, so... Um, like I said, it only had about probably three quarters of a gallon or half gallon or something in that in there so that's pretty cool man this is a pretty cool little system and uh, I think it would make a great piece of gear all right guys if you can think of anything else to use this then let me know in the comments below. I'd be curious as to any other potential uses for it. And uh, as always, if you like videos like this, talk about outdoor gear reviews, wilderness survival, disaster preparedness, and you know, hit the subscribe button so you can catch our next videos. And if you're already subscribed, go ahead and click the bell button. That way uh, you get an email uh, each time we upload a new video. As always, guys, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Don't forget to live the six P's. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.